in its fifth year, the Bonn Opera Gala is a major event on the social calendar of the former German capital. It raises money for Germany's national AIDS organization. On stage were opera musicians from around the world, donating their time. So the tickets sold are essentially donations for a good cause. This year the event raised a record 200,000 euros. Here in Bonn, we in Bonn appeal to the masses. We have trustees from normal working life who also work as ambassadors for us and who, bit by bit, are willing to increase the amount they donate. They feel good because they see there's a lot of passion involved and we're always willing to try out something new. German soprano Simone Kalmus provided one of the highlights of the evening. She's won two Echo Classic Awards and has performed at famous opera houses around the world. Her aim is to entertain her audience, even when the occasion is a serious one. It's also important to perform things that aren't so well known. The evening will be very long because everyone is singing two pieces and there will be lots of speeches. I hope it's not too long and I've already said I'll sing my Olympia aria very fast. It's not only AIDS patients in Germany who are helped by the proceeds from the gala. The funds also go to Mozambique, where the Dream Project helps HIV-positive women and their children. The goal is to prevent transmission of the virus to unborn babies. Our success can be explained in one sentence. Out of 100 children born to HIV-positive mothers in our program, not even one child is infected. So 99 children are born healthy. And that would be a good result even in Europe. For Africa, it's an excellent result. Singing for a good cause is a matter of course for Simone Kermes. I don't have to think it over before saying yes to an AIDS gala. I take part every year. It's important to be involved. It's important to talk about it. It's still not normal, even today, to talk openly about AIDS. This year's program featured arias from operas, operettas and musicals, much to the delight of the audience.